go around, guys. They'll be contained within cryogenic tanks. Cryo. Uh, cryo? Yeah. Cryogenic tanks. Cryogenic. For maximum efficiency and storage. Okay, Pat. Whoa, whoa. Now, you also mentioned living quarters for the crew. How many are there on each ship? It varies. Sergeant Richard, come on in. Can we talk to some of them? Oh, you will, Christine. Right now? Doing it. It's too hot. Gotta go around to our crew right here. Let's go to back lane. We'll go back in here. Okay. Now, how's that? One more. It's too hot. Four. Okay. It's for three to three days. Okay. So the idea of a curve, which is great because it follows the curve of the mother ship right. and all of that. It just reflects all that. Yeah, yeah, but now, but can we get them so that they're bigger in the foreground like they are here? So that when, if, if he comes in then, and it's dark, and we all, all we see is this intestine-like thing around him, we don't know what it is. Right. And we light it with the, uh, so that it's damp and, and uh, shiny and scary. Mm -hmm. And then he gets up to here and the lights come on. Martin turns the lights on and we see all of these. Mm -hmm. He reacts, still not sure what it is, and, the, and then, I, then I cut into the closer angle when the lights come on in the very foreground here at the end, and he sees what they are. And then for the reverse, I just cheat him over against one way or the other, mm -hmm. or I can reverse right into here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Donovan's here, looking at Quentin, uh, let's say here, facing that way, then I can come around this way and have more cocoons behind him. Right. Can that can it go up stage? Or is it is that what the call is? There we go. They win. Keep going. Keep going. Move that a little bit to my right, camera, yeah. camera right. Which one? That, that last one on the left side. Jimmy. I'll tell you how. Wait. Where do we get some people in there? Can we see first team standing there? Yeah. yeah. Watch, this. Watch this. First team. Height in 185, and we see their feet. You got Denny's head high? In 185, you got it. Great. Can I? It's great. Okay. Let's go, or we have to sit here through another one. And uh, the thing's frozen on the clock there, so yeah. I love it when you wiggle it back and forth, David. Yes. <laughs> I think the story, more than anything, is um, a human story. I mean, more than, than what everybody, more than what the trailers are saying and more than what the, uh, the promotions are saying, saying. I think it's a, it's a story about, about people banding together and how kind of ridiculous world war and, and wars between nations seem when you're faced with something a lot bigger. And I think it's, it's a, and it shows people from all walks of life getting together and just looking at the unimportance of, um, of racial prejudice, of, of, of just fighting with each other when they, when, they see, when they see something that's a lot bigger than they are. <laughs> My character is wonderful. She's um, a med student. She does research um, in the biochemistry lab um, and uh, also does rotation. She's in her third year, so she does rotation at the hospital. And uh, what she wants more than anything is to be a doctor and maybe go into research. And all of a sudden, she's faced with something that puts her, pushes her into a position of getting this thing over with so she can go back to her work and go, just go back to life as, it's, as it normally is. Um, she grew up as a conformist. She's a Republican. And she really doesn't want to have anything to do with this. Um, but it's all, it's all, it all happens so quickly that she doesn't have a chance to do any, to think about it. She just moves and does it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to bail out when I go through the gate. Be careful, Mark! Mark's on the trucks, Jimmy. Come on. 
When you see this gentleman through the window of this vehicle, he's way to the left of it, 30 feet. You, from, from Bill's shot, you're going to have to cut out of it too quick. Steve, jump off a little sooner then, as soon as you get a shot at stop and just throw the ball out cocktail. When is he going to run in? He's going to run in as the uh, resistance fighter jumps off and is about to throw it. Now go more to your left, Steve, so you're more lined up in. Yeah, a little more yeah, this way. So when he throws it, you can really duck back as the flames come at you, okay? I won't block him. The man getting off the truck, will uh, Boom! Fire and duck back through it? Yeah. So? Well, the jump off is not good. He's awfully little back there. He's, he's crouching so low. Rolling! It's really a, kind of an ensemble thing. I mean, all of the characters start out as, as separate entities and separate units. The families start out as just separate family units. And they all intertwine during the film because their lives are kind of shoved together and pushed together. People from all different walks of life. And I think Julie is kind of a catalyst because she is the one that, that when does, some, does things when nobody else will. They'll be standing around, sitting around a room and somebody says, well, somebody should do that. And everybody says, yeah, well, somebody should do it. And she just says, well, all right, I'll do it. You know, and she, she was probably the one that did that in high school and did it, you know, always did it. Nice one, bud. No, I got out of breath, man. That's right. Come on. You guys okay? Don't worry, talk. Don't worry. One thing I, I took the breath from him, you know? And I said, don't breathe. Well, I, I didn't take a breath just before I went down and I went, I was running out of breath. That's good. Nice. Ricky, what is a 75? About a little more, about a full figure from there, right? Two figures? That's okay. That's good. Let's get the lady coming off the truck with a Molotov cocktail. Okay, and pan her over this way. And then come back and grab what we can through the fire here so that it's real, you know, compressed. The fire is killing me. It killed me for the people getting out of the fire. All right, well, Inky, we'll bring the fire down just a touch, okay? So that I've got it, but not, not blotting me out. Yeah, let's have, let's have it burning as she's running across there. So we don't have to bother with lighting it, and, and then we'll gun from the other side as she, as she uh, throws it. Yeah, yeah. Now, again, yeah. girl's coming out of the truck with a Molotov cocktail, right? right? Right. Now, if she is over to the camera right of that truck, I'll see her. Otherwise, the frames are going to kill her coming Okay, out of well, we'll have her coming down out of the now right side, and then we'll take her right across to the... Uh, new, uh, new, uh, all right, uh, watch this. Where does she go to? You know, you see a lot of other uh, space stories, and it's all action-packed adventure, and very little, um, the actors have very little opportunity to do any good acting. And we've had some, some real nice opportunities here, and there have been some good performances from so many talented actors. Now, what about his height, his eye height? Because we were talking about this being higher, we were talking about this being higher than where uh, Donovan would be seen. Is this still eight feet perspective? 
We can drop it. Well, no, I don't think we should drop it, so that we, because I think we ought to be higher okay. than he is. But I, I'd like not to do two mats. No, no, we shouldn't do two mats. But we shoot. We shoot. We just ignore the fact that it's above his eye height. Exactly. We will shoot that off of his reaction when he first comes in. Yeah. Which will overlap off of the stage studio section. Right. Him right. coming through the door. Cut to this. Cut to this. Okay. Walk him out of that and walk yeah. him into this. Exactly. And, 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 and we should take we should take a beat here. Yeah. And let him turn back to us so we know who he is. Yeah, neat. Okay. Is that about? Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. It's good. Did right. you see the sweatshirts? Can you flash it? Hey, it looks good. <laughs> That's all right. It's neat. We all get them, right? As a matter of fact, we do. Do we? No. <laughs> I Can I get uh, everybody to listen up? Is everybody here? A lot of us have worked together before, but nobody on this crew has worked any harder than they've ever worked on this one, I'll tell you. And and um, I wanted uh, I wanted you all to have something to remember other than your overtime. And uh, so well, you've gotten these together for everybody. Yeah. Yeah.